Hello Booktube! Welcome to Lucy Fay Loves Books. I'm Elizabeth and this is going to be part four of my April book haul featuring Cozy Mysteries. Now if you haven't seen any of my other book hauls for April, I also posted one for adult fiction and one for nonfiction and one for children and middle grade books. But for now let me show you what Cozy Mysteries that I got in the month of April. Now this first book I want to show you, I've actually had a little bit longer, but it keeps getting left out of my hauls. This is Forget Me Not by Mary Marks, and it is the first book in a quilting mystery series. Anytime I see fiction books related to quilting, I know that it's something my sister will enjoy, and I will probably enjoy it too, so I definitely wanted to pick this up. And for some reason, it kept getting left out of my um, earlier hauls for this year, and I wanted to show it. Also, these two books, I picked these up at a library book sale back in the fall, uh, and I had given them to my husband to put on eBay. My husband has a small eBay business where, he, you know, he, we sell mostly books and uh, vintage radios and a few other random items, but um, I had put these originally in the eBay box, and I kept seeing them here and there, and I thought, you know, I might like to read those, and my husband might like to read them too because he loves crossword puzzles. So I took them back out of the eBay box, and so I wanted to show them to you. This one is Puzzle to Death. Uh, these are by Parnell Hall, and this one is Dead Man's Puzzle. So then I recently found the first one of this series in hardback, A Clue for the Puzzle Lady, and I already had it in paperback, but I decided to go ahead and get rid of the paperback and keep the hardback because I have a couple of others in hardback. And uh, so this was a great deal and I decided to go ahead and pick it up. I'll show you the rest of the hardbacks first. This is Delectable Mountains by Erlene Fowler. I have been trying to collect the Erlene Fowler Benny Harper mystery series in hardback. I still can't find the first two or three yet. I have the majority of them now in hardback and as soon as I can find the first ones then I can start reading them. But uh, my sister's already read these and she really enjoys them. They have a quilt theme and they are mystery stories so I am definitely looking forward to reading these at some point. This is Tragic Magic by Laura Childs. This is one of the scrapbooking mystery stories. I have been trying to collect these in paperback, but I have recently run across a couple of these in hardback, and it was a fill-a-bag situation where I just couldn't pass it up. So I'll hang on to these and until whatever time I can find the paperback so that all my set will look the same. Um, I'll, I'll hang on to this one for now. And then I didn't plan to purchase any more print books of the Number One Ladies Detective Agency series because I've been listening to it on audio, but again, it was a fill a bag for $2 situation, and I just decided to go ahead and pick this up. This is the Double Comfort Safari Club by Alexander McCall Smith, and uh, again, it is part of the Number One Ladies Detective Agency series. Now, on to the paperbacks. I picked up the next Aunt Dimity book that I need to read, Aunt Dimity Beats the Devil. This, this is book six. I have already read the first five, and I love them. I can't wait to read this. I read the Aunt Dimity, I read the first Aunt Dimity book for March Mystery Madness, and then the next four for, for Authorathon, and so uh, when I was at uh, one of our awesome used bookstores in our area, they had this one, and it's the next one, so I'm excited. This is the fourth book in the Donut Shop Mystery Series by Jessica Beck. This is Evil Eclairs. I've already read book six, and, uh, and a couple months ago I found books one through three, and this is book four, so I wanted to go ahead and pick this up. I'm trying to fill in the blanks so that I can go back and read the five books leading up to the one I've already read, and then I'll probably read it again. Um, the book I did read, I really enjoyed, so I think I'll enjoy the rest of the series. This is a do-it-yourself mystery called Plaster and Poison by Jenny Bentley. I believe there's only three in this series, and this is the only one I didn't have. This is a Stamping Sisters mystery called Stamped Out. This is the first book. It's by Terry Thayer, and I already have books two and three, and I think there's only three so far, so now I have all three of these. This is called Death and Faxes by Leslie O'Kane. This is a Molly Masters mystery, and these are school-themed, so I am really looking forward to reading these. I, have, uh, I was on the PTA board at my oldest daughter's elementary school for several years, and I think this will be a lot of fun to read. And I finally found the second scrapbooking book in paperback by Laura Childs. This is Photo Finished. And I, I mentioned earlier I would like to collect this series in paperback. I already have quite a few, but I did not have book two in the mass market paperback edition. So I was excited to get this. And I've only read the first one so far. So now I have this one and I can read it. I have read one other book by Joel Charbonneau. It's called The Testing. It's a YA dystopian book, which is the first in a trilogy. And when I did my review of that book last year, someone commented to me that Joel Charbonneau also had some cozy mysteries. They 
are a skating theme and this one's called skating over the line I'm not sure where this falls in the series I found this at my friend's flea market bookstore that's about a half an hour from here I don't get to go very often to her store it's only open on Friday Saturday Sunday but it's in the same town where my daughter Emily goes to school so occasionally if I have to pick her up early from school or something like that or, or take her to school late then I can stop by the uh, the flea market bookstore and see what they have so I believe this is where I got this and I was excited to find it. Another book I got from there is called Out of Time by Katie Munger. This uh, just looks like a pet mystery and it looks really cute. And here's another pet mystery called Hounds Abound by Linda O. Johnston. And I think I got this also at the uh, flea market bookstore and <laughs> it just looks really cute. It is a pet rescue mystery. And then this one looks really pretty. This is called Thread Reckoning. It's an embroidery mystery by Amanda Lee. This really, this artwork looks a lot like the Southern Sewing Circle mysteries by Elizabeth Lynn Casey, but it's not but it still looks very pretty. I may have one other book in this series so far but I definitely didn't have this one and um, I love pretty covers like this so I am excited to get to this someday. I don't know when but um, but it looks really fun. So that is all my cozy mysteries for the month of April. So for my book hauls in May, I think for May I'm not going to break up my books by genre. I already bought a few books uh, in the early part of May and I'll probably go ahead and just do a quick haul video of those. And then my daughter and I are going to be going to the Scholastic Warehouse book sale sometime in May. And I'm going to try to vlog a little bit so you can kind of see what that's like to go to the Scholastic Warehouse. It's really fun. And then depending on if I buy any more books in the in the later part of May, then um, I'll let you know. But for now, that's all I have for this video. I hope you're having a great day. Read a good book, and God bless you.